What's up my horse lovers? It's the Horse Reactor here and I am back for another reaction. And this time we are taking a look at something from LGS Racing. Probably Let's Go Stable Racing. This is Verrazano wins at Gulfstream Park. If you haven't seen by now, um, Verrazano was in three of my reactions. He was in the Derby, um, he was in the Travers, and he was in the Wood Memorial that I just did. So, yeah, I'm doing another race that he's in. And I think this was his debut. I don't know, actually. And I know for a fact Verrazano was actually named after Giovanni de Verrazano, the explorer. So, they just named the horse Verrazano. And I think he was the post-time favorite, too. I'm not actually sure if I saw this race or not. This video is about 7 minutes and 35 seconds long. It, don't worry, it's not that long of a race. There's a lot of video after it. So, let's get right to it with it being that long. In 3, 2, 1, play. Alright, they're going in the gate. Next will be Character Zero and Coin Broker. Alright. Utmost intensity coming up. All right. So, where's Ver? Also moving in is Carson City Brew. Where's Verrazano? Oh, there he is. Verrazano, who is now co-favored at nine to five, along with Retrieve, going in. So Verrazano was post time favorite then. Well, co favorites. Honduran moves into line. Next will be Cruises Creek. What? The heck kind of a name is that? Why is the rider off? Riders off of Honduran and the gate. Why? One left to load, River Boss. Okay. See you in? They're all in yes, line. Sir. They're off. They're off. And Verrazano started very well. Goes out to the front along with utmost intensity and a claim on the inside also with speed. Honduran and River Boss are after that and then Retrieve right in behind horses. Racing three lengths off the lead. Character Zero is three lengths behind them and they're being followed by Coin Broker on the outside. Carson City Brew goes up outside of Coin Broker. In the back are Cruises Creek and Hardest Core as the field races for the half mile pull. 22 and 1, the opening quarter for a claim who leads the way a half a length. Alongside his utmost intensity. Verrazano is right alongside of them. Retrieve sits behind the leading trio, two lengths off the lead, and three clear of River Boss. Honduran is after that. And then comes Carson City Brew, who's outside of Coin Broker. Character Zero and Cruises Creek, and they're coming toward the top of the stretch. And it's a claim, and Verrazano now, one, two, and Retrieve takes third. Utmost intensity back to fourth. 45 flat for a half, they're into the stretch, and it's Verrazano. Verrazano has taken the lead and is moving away from a claim with a fur long to go. And then comes Retrieve in utmost intensity. Verrazano is running away coming down to the 16th pole. A very sharp debut for Verrazano. Won it by six or seven over acclaim. And then came Coin Broker and fourth is either River Boss or Retrieve. So that was Verrazano's debut. And I know I stayed quiet throughout the whole race. It's just I wanted to hear what Larry Comas was going to say. Why didn't I do this video first before the others that Verrazano was in? Okay, so we're only three minutes into the video. Number nine, Verrazano was first. 
Number one, Acclaim was second. Number seven, Coin Broker was third. And 11, River Boss was fourth. Hold all tickets until it's I got official. no tickets to hold. <laughs> the final time, one minute, 16.48 seconds. What a nice debut from Verrazano. This horse was undefeated going into the Kentucky Derby. I wonder where he stared, where he stands in retirement. They don't advertise him. That's a nice picture. Maybe that'll be the thumbnail for this. I'll take a screenshot and make it the thumbnail. Wow, there's a lot of fans here. So it it was nine one seven eleven. Those are the top four finishers. He's the son of more than ready, right? He is. Just don't know who his mother is. I actually picked this horse to go, I mean, I actually picked this horse to win the Wood Memorial and to win the Kentucky Derby. He won the Wood Memorial, as you saw in the previous reaction. Returning to the winner's circle is Verrazano. He's a three-year-old bay colt by More Than Ready, out of Enchanted, Enchanted Rock, Rock by Giants Causeway. Owned by Let's Go Stable, trained by Todd Pletcher, and ridden by John Velasquez. Verrazano was bred in Kentucky by Emery Hamilton. It's official nine one seven eleven. Nine one exact to forty three dollars. Nine one seven trifecta thirty nine dollars. Nine one seven eleven superfecta four sixty two forty. Six nine double twenty one forty. And <laughs> is that it? Today's third race is up next. It's the 33rd running of the Spectacular Bid. I've heard of that race. There's Daily Double Exacta, Trifecta, Superfecta, and Bet3 Wagering. But I've heard of the horse. Note that number one, Merit Man, races on Lasix, but not for the first time. Number two, Rocky's Home Run, one pound over. Number three, Cat5 Hurricane, one pound over. In the fourth race, number six, Coffee Click, the riders Javier Castellano. And in the fifth, no changes. Okay. How about the sixth? They probably don't mention that until after after the fourth race or something. Are we gonna see a replay of this of this race? I don't think so. And now we're just looking at the odds for the next race. And that's it. So I was right. That was Verrazano's debut. Um, so anyways. Dang it, a headphone just fell. Anyways, that was Verrazano wins at Gulfstream Park. There's another one that's named the exact same thing. But I'm not going to do it. Cause why would I? That would just makes no make no sense. I got the hiccups. I always get them when I'm recording. Um. So, like I was trying to say before, Larry Colmus was talking. Verrazano was in my previous reactions, and I had him in the Derby until he lost. Then I think I picked him in the Travers of that year. And I know I did not watch him in the Haskell because I didn't even know that was a race. 
Then watch that race till 2014. But, anyways, um, at least Verrazano started his career in a good way with a win. Don't know if he ended it with a win, though. I don't think he did. He was in a lot of races. I think he was also in the 2014 Cigar Mile. I don't know. And he did win the Tampa Bay Derby. I'm obviously looking at that. It's on my screen. But I don't know if I'll react to it. Unless I didn't, and I just don't remember. Anyways, that's going to be it for this reaction. So please leave a like down below. Most importantly, copy the name of the video I reacted to. And search it up in the search bar so you guys can see the video for yourself and having me talk over it. And click over here to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.